I've never seen so many spinnies. I think you mean wind turbines. No, I like to call wind turbines spinnies because they're all spinny. Fair enough. Wind farms are pretty amazing, aren't they, Doc? Their whole purpose is to generate electricity in a way that's good for the Earth. How do wind turbines help the Earth, Ruby? Well, wind is considered renewable energy because we can't run out of it. So, while some might use water or other sources to get electricity, wind is considered the most environmentally safe, since it's not taking anything from the Earth. That makes sense. So these wind farms actually operate by using wind turbines to generate electricity from the wind alone. Right. And because there are so many spinnies, are uh, uh wind turbines, <laughs> they can power thousands of homes. Pretty spectacular. Wind turbines are pretty big, aren't they? Oh, yeah. They're about 200 to 300 feet tall standing. And their blades can stretch up to 148 feet long. Wow. And how do they work? Well, when the wind blows, it makes the blades move. And when the blades move, they turn a shaft inside the turbine that drives an electrical generator to make electricity. What an amazing new technology. These are far from new technologies, Doc. They might even be older than you. Maybe. Windmills have been around since the Middle Ages. But there wasn't electricity in the Middle Ages. True. But back then, they used wind energy to pump water. And they've been using them to generate electricity since the early 1900s. What do you like most about wind turbines, Rube? Hmm. Probably that they're spinny. Yeah, the spinnies are fun to watch, don't you think? Hooray! Hey there, polar bears. Welcome to Buzzwords, the game show where knowing the word is the whole reward. Yeah, <laughs> Jenny Bit, I'm going to whisper a buzzword in your ear, and you'll try to get Newton to guess what it is. The buzzword is sink. Okay. Oh, okay. You wash up in the... A uh, bath? Um, you put dishes in the... Dishwasher. Uh, okay, okay, let me think. Oh, I know, I know. If you don't float, you... Oh, you sink, sink. Yes! Nice work. Okay, pals, round two. The buzzword is bear. Okay, okay, if you can't stand something, you can't blank it. Stand. Um, when you're not wearing shoes, your feet are... Cold. How about, uh, not a lion, not a tiger, but a... Oh, a bear! It's a bear. Yes! And with that, it's bonus question time. All right. What is the largest bear in the world? And how big is it? Oh, Kodiak bears! Alaskan Kodiak bears can stand up to 10 feet tall. Ha <laughs> ha! That's right! Great job, Jenny Bit. Do you know bears are my favorite animal? I even got to see one at the zoo one time, but it wasn't a Kodiak, it was a sun bear, which is way smaller. Not like super Thanks small. Thanks so like much for joining us today. We'll see you next time on Buzzwords. Whoa! Is that an indoor waterfall? In an airport? How remarkable! Oh, there you are, Dr. Chaos! I totally lost track of you back there! Well, I got tired after the 200th gift shop! 300, actually! There are about 300 retail and dining shops here in the Jewel of the Changi Airport. <sighs> Don't you just love Singapore? Yes, just look at this giant indoor waterfall. Um, that's not just any indoor waterfall, Dr. Chaos. That's the rain, rain vortex. The rain vortex? Yep. Pretty sweet, huh? It's actually the tallest indoor waterfall in the whole world. How tall is it? 130 feet. I'm about two feet tall. 
So that's like 65 of me stacked on top of each other. Incredible! Is it man-made? Yep, it sure is. It's made by recirculating rainwater from a totally fancy pump at the roof down to a pool in the basement. But, but how do they control the humidity? With all this water, doesn't it get humid? Not at all. They switch the water between gushes and trickles to keep it from getting too humid. Science is fascinating. You know, Dr. Chaos, there's a giant forest valley in here too. Should we go? So many trees! <laughs>